On this RV decor series, I'm gonna show you how I take this tile and I put it on the risers of our steps. I really wanted to change out this color carpet here to lighten the space up. I've added this brick here, and if you haven't watched that video already, I'll link that up here. I have seen all the people's posts of where they have done the tile on the risers, and I just think it is so pretty. I absolutely love how it looks. I'm hoping it's gonna be a super easy project, and it's not that expensive. The hardest part is trying to decide which tile you wanna go with. This is the one that I ended up picking out. I did go to a Hobby Lobby and I found some. I loved the pattern on it. It was so pretty, but it was shiny and I did not like the shininess of it. So I'm gonna go with this one here. I don't think that it's overpowering, but it will definitely lighten up this space. Let me go ahead and start getting this off and I'm gonna try to get the best angles that I can because you know, this is a tight space. Oh, also, if you haven't watched it already and I'll put a link, I did a video last week. This is a two-part series. I took and transformed this hidden space here. There's a video about how I did that. All right, let's see if I can get all this done. I feel like this is gonna be the easiest one to get off. The next one is gonna be a lot harder. jinxed myself when I said this was going to be super easy because it looks like for whatever reason this carpet is behind the step and it's probably stapled down there. because the carpet was glued on there and stapled and I just wanted to kind of get a lot of this glue off and hammer some of these staples in. I have my first piece cut and what I did because the steps I didn't want the towel I wanted it to be even or like in the middle so I cut equal parts off of the top and the bottom of the towel so that way it doesn't look like the towel is cut off. And then I'm going to do two big pieces and a small piece. And then on the next step, I'm going to do two big pieces and a small piece. This tile is super easy to cut. All you need is a pair of scissors and it worked perfect. Now, while this is peel and stick tile, I wanted to make sure to add some extra bondingness to it. And so I ended up getting rubber cement. I wanted to break in here real quick and update you on something because I never like, I never like to let y'all do anything that I wouldn't do. I should have listened to myself. I, when I went into the hardware store, I picked up, I picked up the Gorilla Glue and the guy told me to put that back and to get the cement that I ended up using. Well, don't use that cement because it did not stick very well. I went with the Gorilla Glue. I went back and got it, and I just pulled these off and restuck them back up. The Gorilla Glue has worked perfect. So use the Gorilla Glue instead of the rubber cement. That guy steered me wrong, and the rubber cement was not the way to go, and I should have just held on to my Gorilla Glue and used it. I'm just gonna peel off my backing. So that one's done and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing again and then I will cut my last piece. Now I'm gonna cut my little piece here and put all this one back together. Take my shirt go. Yeah. So basically the towel is 12 inches and I need a nine inch piece. So I'm cutting an inch and a half off the top and the bottom. All right, 
that fits perfect. Now, you just gotta put some cement on it. That is done. I'm gonna just put this right back on here and then we will move down to the next one. We gonna run Don't, Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Hell, you heard me walking up the steps here. <sighs> How can you be scared of that? I'll be back in what you think so far? I don't like the way that looks in the opening part right there. Come on, right here. That's a piece of wood. I put that on there. It needs to be. It's trim. It needs to be painted or stained. Or it's something. stained. It's just stained lighter. Don't just stab me with me. Right, nah. I don't like him seeing it until it's totally finished. Look how much it changes it. It just lightens that up so much. I love it. That was harder than I thought it was going to be. Now let's see how hard this other one is going to be to get off. They put it behind that. The carpet goes back that way. Ugh. All right. What? <laughs> so that one I couldn't get out from behind the steps, but I did. <laughs> this one. And uh, this one is like tucked around behind this board. Jeez, oh. my boards. Staple that back on. So to show you there's no rhyme or reason on how stuff is done in the RV, that one had a little bit of staples, but mostly was glued on. This one had no glue and it was nothing but staples. This one was stuffed down behind that step really far. This one wasn't behind the step hardly at all, but it was tucked around the corner. I really thought this step was gonna be easier, but really this one ended up being easier. Now, I'm gonna cut these, we're gonna glue them on, and then we're gonna wrap this project up. So the top step was nine inches. This one is seven inches. So I have a 12 inch, so that's a different of five inches. So I'm gonna have to take two and a half off the top and two and a half off the bottom. It's done, except for those two pieces. I'm gonna put those down. Wow, that is a huge difference, huge difference. All right, I'm gonna glue these two pieces down real quick and then I'm gonna clean up real fast and then I'm gonna do my final thoughts. I have to say that I love how both of these projects turned out, part one and part two. It has really changed the space and you know, I was just thinking, I was in such a hurry to tear everything out, which I tore the bottom out before I even knew I was gonna do anything. I didn't take a before picture. I think I have a before picture of where I added the treads and I'll go back and find that. That's gonna be the only before I have. And then I'm gonna put my step treads back on here because we have to have those for Aspen because she can't go up and down the steps without them. Part one wasn't that hard. It was just the space that was hard. And part two, this, wasn't hard except for taking off the old carpet, but putting the new on, that was super easy. When it comes to RVing, you just never know what you're gonna end up coming across when you start tearing things apart. And this one, obvious, two totally different scenarios on both of them. So when I took the first one off, I thought I knew what to expect on the second one, and that was not the case. I know y'all are enjoying the RV decor series, but in October, the camper will be going to the hunting club and it will stay there all the time. So it's harder for me to do this series. If you're new here, I try to post three videos a week. Sundays at five o'clock is my RV decor and organization series. Tuesdays are my Two Cents Tuesdays where I do reviews on multiple items. And then Fridays is just our regular travel videos. So if we travel anywhere, I put those on Friday. Till next time, like and subscribe.